Good evening, it's Brian at Fitzpatrick's Garage, Dublin Road, Kildare. I'm going to show you this, this car, this 2017 i40 Executive uh, 1.7 CRDI. So this is the car, it is, as we were saying, 1.7 diesel Hyundai i40. It is the Executive model for 2017, which has a really, really nice finish on it. Just in case you're wondering who we are, Fitzpatrick's Garage is a Kildare, garage even, sorry, in Kildare Town. So we have a Honda, Maxall, Honda, Hyundai, and then just further up the road up here, there's a Mercedes agency as well. And then there's garages in also Carlo and Tullamore and Nace as well. And the reason I'm saying that to you is if you're going to spend a lot of money on a car, like something like this, you want that peace of mind that it is from an organisation that's going to give you after sale service. So this garage is a family run business in operation for almost 70 years. So I guess you can be very, very confident when you're spending money here. Anyway, back to the car. This car has just come off our fleet. There is a really, really big discount on it. So the car will come with five years of warranty. Uh, this car is probably registered, probably actually, no, that's not actually um, entirely accurate. It'll come with about four and a half years of manufacturer's warranty. It'll come with four and a half years of roadside assist. And then we also put on our fleet cars five years instead of four and a half, so five years of free servicing as well. So it makes a car like this become extremely frugal and straightforward in terms of running costs. Condition, I suppose, as a 171 car, as you'd expect, it is absolutely excellent all the way around. So sometimes in these videos I might look at condition, but looking down the sides of the car and closer to the panels, on a car that that's new, there's really, I guess, no point in doing it. So let's just have a look at the features that stand out first of all. On the rear of these cars, there is a lovely LED taillight along through here and in through there, and up top as well. After that then, nice chrome section along the bootlid. There is two functioning exhausts on the back, and then along here, we'll have parking sensors all the way along the back of the car. Down the side of the car, there's a really nice shape on these i40s. Rear window here, and this rear window section here is tinted. The chrome is very complimentary of these really cool diamond cut wheels. So, looking at diamond cut, it means on the inside they're black, so it, ha it hides brake dust. And if you look up close, then you see the way, mm, can you see it? Maybe I'll pick another one. Yeah, if you just see the reflection in the background, that looks really, really well when the sun shines in it, or at night time when there's artificial light shining on it. So, I mean, looking at that car there, it's got a really, really nice shape to the back of it. And one other cool thing about the shape on the back of these cars is the drag coefficient is similar to that, or actually sorry, it's less than that of a Toyota Prius. So they're actually an extremely frugal vehicle. Realistically speaking, you will run somewhere in the region of 55 or so miles per gallon, which in litres per 100 kilometres is going to be somewhere in the region of about five or so to five and a half litres per 100 kilometres. And that's realistic for people that don't actually mind how they drive, they just get in and drive it. They are achievable numbers. On the front of the car, nice thing about these ones is there's one, two, three, four, five LEDs for front fog lights. So that's kind of unusual because most cars you see, they'll have fog lights that look like these here, which are the big halogen ones. Okay. So this one here has an LED, which uh, in my book is still quite a rare thing. So it looks really, really well. Big long daytime running light up here, which is uh, also a parking light in this case, headlight in through there and then dip light in through here. The grill is a nice family face that's on Hyundai's now, which is the kind of hexagon style big grill. So it looks really, really nice and aggressive. After that then, the 1.7 diesel engine is 115 horsepower. That, uh, as we were saying, is quite frugal to run. It's 200 euros a year for road tax. Um, these cars have been extremely reliable. That engine, in terms of things like turbos and intercoolers and injectors and all that kind of stuff, they have been really, really good. We've been selling that car since 2012 and it's been extremely robust, that engine. So, and you can see at the moment, they are being used by Angarda Shikana now as well. So, um, Okay, in terms of the inside of the car, there's a really, really big boot on an i40 and I forgot to unlock it. So now I look like an Egypt. Okay, so on the inside, let's open up the car. And look, there is one thing to be aware of on these, the driver's door opens first and then the rest of the doors open after as well. On the inside, in through there, the boot is absolutely massive. 
and down through here. You do have a spare wheel because remember we do love spare wheels in Ireland. So really really big long boot and then if you want the seats can be folded forward as well. So I think it's fair to say so far the likes of this i40 here it's easy to run, road tax is low, fuel efficiency is very very high but in terms of the peace of mind that you get with these cars it's really really good so as we were saying warranty is long, roadside assist is long and then uh, servicing is free and that means you know five years it makes your financial future very very certain from the point of view of motoring anyway. Uh, as we were saying this one is an executive model so it's got a really really nice interior with uh, a full leather setup and also it has satellite navigation so let's have another look. And I did it again so I went to open up the back door and forgot to unlock it so right let's start that again. Door handle which has a nice chrome section along it as well. So if you see along here, depending, we do have a choice of these cars. One thing I will say to you, this fleet of cars that we have, there is a choice of colours and interiors on them as well. So if you go with black, you get a nice beige section door card. The seat itself is full beige leather, which looks really nice. Condition, as you'd expect, is perfect. Armrest in the centre with some storage and drinks holders. And then vents for the rear occupants. There's actually really, really loads of legroom in I-40s as well. So they are a big saloon car. So legroom, I assure you, is quite good. And the other cool thing about the I-40 is you can definitely get three child seats across the back. So that is doable. I can confirm that. Isofix over here. And also Isofix on the other side if you want just over here as well but if you want you can get three eyes of fixes no but three child seats yes but they just won't they won't all be eyes of fix that's all so quite a nice interior similarly then up front oops okay electrics for windows and mirrors child locks back here you can lock these doors in the back as well uh, mirrors can fold in automatically from the button and then after that, the seating is electric, so back, forward, up, down, front of the seat up, front of the seat down, back of the seat up, back of the seat down, forward and back, and then this is lumbar support for lower back. If you can't get comfortable in this driver's seat, we got a big problem. So it's very, very adjustable. Never come across someone that couldn't get comfortable in one of these seats. So nice interior, again. And then if we sit into the car, just down to the right, in through here, headlights are automated, so we'll leave them in the automated function and they turn on themselves. Front and rear fog lights, brightness of the dash, height of the lights, and then we have a start stop function and traffic lights. Up onto the steering wheel, I'm just going to drive out of the way because the sun is a head wrecker. Uh, right, let's get out of the way of the sun. Well, not totally out of the way. God. Um, while we're doing a bit of moving around, right, what I've done is I've gone for reverse. And as you can see over here, we have a nice big reverse camera. While we're at it, we're going to drive forward towards these bollards. And the reason being, we've got parking sensors on the front telling us we've got a problem over here in the front right, which we can see. And then similarly, as we were saying, if we go for reverse, reverse up through there. And keep going, keep going towards the wall. Whoa. Okay, that was a little bit quicker than I thought. So along here, we've got a problem, and over here we do as well. And then as I turn the steering, we can see the lines become dynamic. Back into first. I'm just going to go down here in front of this row of cars to get out of the way of the sun because it's not helping with that interior shot. Anyway, cruise control down through here, controls for radio over here, voice activated Bluetooth in through here. And then after that, oh yeah, actually I'll come back to that in a minute. Handbrake engage, handbrake disengage. Couldn't be easier. And you've also got an auto hold to stop you rolling backwards on hills, storage. Armrest with storage. This is really cool. You open it up and auxiliary and USB and all that kind of stuff in through there. Drive mode in here so we can have a sport mode which makes our steering heavier than it would be normally. Traction control down through here. Heating controls, speed up or slow down fan. My side for heat, passenger side for heat. Front windscreen to mister, rear windscreen to mister. After that then you will be looking at usual things like navigation. Sorry. Not usual things. This is specific to this car. It does have navigation, whereas the other ones don't. So, if I go into radio, I get my usual radio functions, which is touchscreen. If I go into map, I get a map. If I go into media, uh, it's going to bring up information from my USB or whatever. And then if I go back into, okay, fair enough, our navigation and that kind of stuff. General settings overall. 
general information and up here back into home and that gives us a nice radio split screen with navigation down through there as well as we're saying then reverse camera does come up through there um, where do we want the air to blow do we want to have it independent on either side or just have the driver control one side and as we we're saying telephone in through here then as well the clocks are nice and big and bright and then we have a trip computer in here for things like average speed fuel consumption how much fuel is left in the car and all that kind of stuff then as well so up through here you have your rear your usual rear view mirror but it's electrochromatic so if someone drives up behind you it darkens itself um, automatically so that is what we're looking at there i'm just going to show you the interior once more because where the light was was a little bit bright so it probably might not have come out very well in the shots so looking at that there it's just a nice plush interior looks really well and complimentary to the dash as well but remember we do have a choice of these cars some of them will have black leather interiors some of them will have beige leather interiors it depends on the color on the outside of the car so there you go that is a 2017 i40 that is in our fleet we have a choice of these cars at the moment and there is a big big discount on them and as we were saying we've discounted them heavily plus we've added five years free servicing to the existing four and a half years roadside assist and warranty overall so the car looks really well it's got very very stable straightforward and predictable running costs it is a car, we'll say, that's been very reliable for us. There's a lot of specification. So compared to other cars in the market, looking at the price point, I think it's a really, really good package overall and definitely something worth considering. If you're near the garage, please do call in, have a drive in the car, ask for Brian. Um, if you're not nearby, but you want some figures or anything like that, estimates and trade-ins, no problem. We do take in trade-ins, so no problem. Give me a shout. 086-843-1945. If you want finance quotes and trade-ins as we were saying we can do that uh, at the garage or I can do that by phone and no matter where you are in the country we'd be very interested in trying to do business with you. Thank you for taking time to watch and hopefully this car is of interest to you.